Okay, welcome back to Ox Tool. I'm Tom. Uh, I'm putting the finishing touches on this little hand wheel that we fixed. Uh, I'm just tightening it up now and uh, we're going to give it a try. Okay, there it's engaged. So you can see that uh, the hand wheel rotates this wheel here. Um, this this faceplate or rotary table is also driven by the uh, the main motor here. Um, it's got a Morse taper in here, so I guess the idea is you can put a tool in here and uh, or a boring head or something and go that way with it, or a big drill center. I don't know what. Uh, I haven't been able to find any pictures on the web of anybody using one of these, so. Um, I'll be discovering how that works out. Um, so this looks pretty good now. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, oop, what happened there? Oh, okay. Just uh, became disengaged. I didn't have the. So there's a little lock. Um, actually, you guys might be interested in this. Let's see if I can. Swing this around so you can get a look in there. Um, flip that. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, I'm making the plug out. Here. All right. So there's a T-shaped handle here. And this engages and disengages the worm here. So that's disengaged there. And now the motor's free to turn the whole thing. You can see the spindle turning there. Okay, and then if I want to use the, uh, um, the rotary table function, so I loosen this and then I engage the worm and then lock that. And now I can crank the, the worm and uh, index the rotary table. So that's how that works. Um, so I'm going to leave it disengaged, I think, because there's no switch, excuse me, there's no switch or anything on it um, to like warn you like, uh, hey, uh, dumbbell, you forgot the uh, rotary table's engaged when you turn the spindle on. So I don't know what happens when, uh, when that happens. Um, it's V-belt drive, so my guess is a uh, belt would slip and and make an awful racket and you'd be embarrassed and so you quickly disengage the worm and uh, and uh, leave it uh, leave it free so there it's free I'm gonna leave it in that position my pivot screw is tight I'm pretty happy anyway uh, that's about it for tonight and uh, I've had enough for tonight and uh, I'll post these tomorrow, and you guys can get a look at them. If you got any comments, let me know. Meanwhile, remember, nothing too strong ever broke, so...